Oh, nice. And we got some silver as well. This is bountiful chunks of silver. Nice. Alright, let's blow it. I'm also gonna widen this up a little bit. Or you know what, let's go do some pro picking. Just to see what else is down here. Okay, so we got high native copper, decent bismuth. Surprised it didn't say anything about silver, considering I am finding bountiful silver. Just gonna dig this way. So put a torch here. Here. Got 13 chunks here. Okay, they're underneath me. This. Yeah, definitely underneath. Let's blow this. Okay, so it looks like it's just quartz in here. Uh, that's okay, I'll take all this quartz. You know what? Let's go... Blow this up. Okay, last door blasting bomb. You hey, count! Get this. Alright, so we got... It is just quartz. So, I guess that's it. I guess I'm just gonna take some of these torches back. Ah, oh, here we go. Just take it back. Oh, tainted drifters. Uh, I won't bother with all of them. Let's take some of them back. Alright. Came for. Got a decent amount of silver as well. We got more quartz. Now, it's daylight, so I should be, like, out there doing something, shouldn't I? Like, I did say I was going to go to, like, uh, the agricultural trader. Come on. Why does picking up torches have to be so hard? Yeah, so let's go to the agricultural trader. And let's continue delaying harvesting that. But first, I do need to get the tools ready.
So while all of this is going. And we'll keep some in reserve, just in case we want to make some more glass. And this would... Alright, well, let's just smash it right now. Again, I do need to... Get another hammer going. Wait, so I have 97... It's here. So we can make some silver plates. Oh, there's another coarse chunk. You know what? Let's put this in here. Also... You know what? So, we'll just put all of this in here. Alright. Now let's make this quick. So, what I need is... Oh head. No, we'll make one of each. Let's make one of each and then we'll worry about the other tools later. We got our hoe head, we got our scythe here. So hopefully I can be on my way to the agricultural trader before daybreak. Or not daybreak. Oh, I still have light. Just gotta hurry this up though. Then I'll bring my pro pick with me and then we'll figure out what resources are in that area. I also need to eat. Also need to check to make sure they restock cheese. Okay, uh, it was a knife. Where's the knife? You're looking for the knife blade, aren't you? And we'll split this off. Okay, so we got our bismuth bronze tools. Now we work on tin. Oh, well, we do need the scythe. So might as well just work on that. Okay, so with this, we should be able to get quite a bit of money. Damn, time is going really fast. Okay, there's a the scythe. A knife, and then the other one was hoe. The metal is already cooling down.
knife blade. And then the last one was the hoe. Hoe head. In bronze, hoe head. Wind is picking up. And this is it. Unfortunately, there are no molds for these tools, so I just have to do this manually. Okay, so we got of each. Tin bronze. Okay, so tin bronze side, tin bronze night. Just gonna organize it so I can see this at a glance. Okay, so we got all of this. That's gonna do its thing. Oh, probably should bring some food with me. I did one o'clock, so we have like three hours worth of daylight. Oh, come on. Three hours of daylight. Three hours of daylight. Also gonna bring our gears with us. Yeah, 29 gears. Wow. Alright. Probably should put our bandages here. And we will turn left over here. And along the way, I'll collect the resin. If it's there, anyway. Wolves around. You respawn. Do I need to kill you again? Like it looks like it's clear. Okay, so the leaky pine should be over here and still hasn't respawned. Yeah, at least the way is clear. And I have my pro pick with me, so we. as well check out the resources along the way. I just need a cliff face that's exposed here. Cave entrance. Probably the best place to do it. Here we go. Except this doesn't go anywhere. Need to check this anyway. Ultra high cast right. So get rich on cast right here. Really? This is not a high enough frequency that would be worthwhile to do. Yeah, you do that game. And unfortunately, I can't burn any of you. So this is quite a resource poor area. Gonna have to check out the... Go over there near the trader. You know what? Let's light you on fire. Seriously? Are you serious? Like it's being put out. Like I he hear the sounds. It shouldn't be put out. But you know what? I'm just gonna light this on fire. I do need to clear this brush. I think I'm a little bit north of where I usually travel. 
That's why there's pine trees here. Get out of this area. There's a trader over there. I feel like it's just going to be snowing all winter. Oh, there's some onions. Somehow missed that when I was here collecting crops. And you know what I want to do is go pick. There is a hole somewhere around here I want to use the pro pick on. It's probably over there. Except it's not. I could have sworn there was a hole here. Where the hell are you? Oh, there it is. Oh, f that could have ended badly. Forecast rate, very poor native copper, mis amounts of bismuth. Okay, so there's barely anything here. All right. We got some cheese. I will buy some cheese from you, good sir. What can I sell you? Knives. Ooh, you do pay a hefty price for these. All right, I'll sell you knives. Alright, so we're gonna bring this back to the trader. Or to the. What's his face? Well, I don't need lumps of fat anymore, and even if I do, I still have. Uh, those. pigs in my thing there. And let's go ahead and get this resin. Still hasn't respawned, okay. Was there any resin in this forest? Did I? I don't remember. Uh, probably not. Alright, so we're gonna head back. We have like two cheddar cheese and one uh, blue cheese. Now I'm gonna eat it eventually, but I'm gonna wait for four. Because I want to try to get a meaningful amount of dairy in my diet. And I still don't have any uh, milk production at this point in time. I still keep getting male sheep. Knowing I want those generation ones. You know what? I'm just gonna pro pick around here. Try to get in there. Sample. Decent casserite, very poor native copper. Yeah, it's like not that many resources in this area. You'd think there'd be something in that mountain there, but there isn't. There's an opening there. Let's go check it out. Minuscule amounts of everything that like there's no resources here like eventually I do want to explore this mountain but I don't know 
There doesn't seem to be anything in there. We could always get lucky, but still. I'm not liking the look of what's in here. Yeah, it's like nothing. I should be careful because I haven't actually been around here. At least this close to the mountain. Just stick with the trails and then we'll be fine. Also, pro pick around here. It's like nothing. Like maybe I should just like take some boulders with me. Get some of these easy resources here. Okay, we're back into the forest. So... Oh yeah, there was like a clay deposit, fire clay deposit somewhere around here. Probably should exploit that while we're here. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. I am hungry. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Oh, come on. Really? And I think that's it. It's the end of this deposit here. Just dig around here. As much fire clay as possible. Okay, there is a wolf in that direction, to the south. Alright, so now we can start working on refractory bricks. Just need to form the bricks and get the... ...thing going. Whatever it's called, the pit kilns. Try to get as much as possible. Now keep in mind, we can only build the cementation furnace at this point. We can't complete the stone coffin because we need powdered borax for the lids. And we still have room, we just need to get rid of the useless stuff here. 
probably get rid of the granite stones if absolutely need be. Or maybe not. Oh, medium fertility soil. We can get rid of that as well. Get another stack of this going. All right. That's enough. So, let's head back now. This area should be clear of wolves still. I probably should like start moving the rest of the stuff over there from my temporary house over to the permanent house just so I have everything in one place, basically. That was good. Got my cheese, sold some tools. A little bit of profit, I think. Yeah, it's 13. I got 13 gears from that. I spent 10 gears, I think, on the cheese. I actually didn't look at the price. All I knew is I had of gears. Gonna store the gear. All right. Let's go ahead and put the cheese in here. Look at that. Cheddar cheese and blue cheese. And I have plenty of fire clay. And there's some loose fire clay. So I'm gonna all of this will be turned into refractory bricks. It's just gonna be tier ones. Can I just put this like anywhere in the crafting grid? Yes I can. Let's just do that. I want a full stack here. I have four of these. Okay, I'm gonna have to make another kiln. Activity is calm, so I need to figure out a place to put the pit kilns. It's gonna be like right beside this thing. And well, let me put back these tools and get my cobblestone out. We're going to use the granite cobblestone, and I need more of it. Act. Six, probably need more. And maybe there was like something down here. Like, I do need to organize this stuff. Hey. Really need to organize this stuff. So we have all of these candles, 32 plus 19, and then we have stacks of beeswax plus all of the stuff in our beekeeping area. 